Hello, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you've been watching my channel for the past year, you know that I have just completed my very first year of project panning. So in that project, I finished up so many products this year and I was very excited because these are products I probably would not have used up if it was not for my project panning projects and for you know making these videos and sharing them with the YouTube community. After project panning for a year, it definitely has had my mind working about the future of my panning projects and what items I want to bring into my project for the next year. What products do I want to use up in 2022? So I spent some time, I went through my collection and just handpicked some items that I think are getting old, I think would benefit from getting good use on them and focusing on those items in the next year to move out of my inventory. I focus on mostly makeup products for this video. I'll be sharing all of the beauty, hair care, skin care items, beauty items in general that I use up through the year. I'll share those with you in my empties videos. But for now, I'd just like to share with you a handful of items from my inventory that I'd like to focus on in 2022 and that I hope to pan in the new year. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm gonna be focusing on next year, go ahead and stay tuned. First item that I'd like to focus on is a foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I chose this foundation from my collection because my foundation collection is getting pretty thin, but this is the oldest foundation that I have in my collection. And I've already used a good amount of it. It's got a little, gosh, I'm playing with makeup so my hands are all dirty. Let me wash my hands. Sorry, okay. Yeah, this item has already gotten a good amount of use on it. I've probably made it about a third of the way through this bottle, so it'll be the next in line to focus on once I finish the foundation that's currently in my project pan, the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. But I love this foundation, very similar, um, kind of medium coverage, nice glowy finish, which I enjoy, and so this will be a fun one to focus on. I'm excited to get more regular use on it once the other foundation's finished up. I'm also gonna focus on my Makeup Forever powder. This is the Matte Velvet Skin Powder, and this is one of my favorite pressed powders. I love this for carrying in my purse for touch-ups throughout the day. It's great for covering makeup that's worn off throughout the day. Um, so this one I've had to repress twice now. It's shattered on me twice. So there's not a ton of product left, not a lot left in the pan. So I figured I might as well bring this into a project and focus on finishing it up. And it probably will be something that has to stay home because I don't want to risk it shattering again. But this one will be great as like an everyday foundation. I can wear this over concealer. I can substitute for a liquid foundation. So this one should be pretty easy to get through since so much of that product is already gone. And unfortunately I lost a lot of that product. So I want to make sure I get good use on the product that's remaining and I might as well focus on something that's close to being done. So yeah, I will be bringing this in to my project eventually and trying to finish that one up as well. I have the shade Y235 and I would repurchase this powder. So maybe I'll think about doing that. I'd also like to finish up this Mineral Veil powder from Bare Minerals. This is a sample size, I believe, and there's not a ton of product in there. So this one was passed down to me from somebody else who was getting rid of it. So I think this will be another quick thing that I can focus on and get out of my project pretty quickly. So I'm gonna definitely pan that this year as well. Now we're getting into some of the more challenging products. Um, I'm going to be focusing on my Tartiste Pro Glow palette this year. There's a lot of pans in this product, but I'm not going to be trying to finish all of them. That would be a lot, but I definitely want to finish this cream contour. I have been using the e.l.f. cream contour palette for the past couple months and really, really enjoying it, and I've used a ton of product from it, and I'm hoping I can use up that entire palette. And then I want to use up this cream right after that so it's not going to waste and expiring in my collection without being used. I've used it quite a few times already it's got a nice little dip in there so it'll be easy to continue to use and then I'd also like to use up the bronzer powder that's next to it so if I use the highlights I will be using the highlights just as the palette is out and I'm using the entirety of it but I won't be focusing on using those up if I hit pan on one or two of them that would be fun but I really am focusing on the two bronzer shades in here and using those up so that will be a 
pretty big project I think for 2022 but I think it'll be fun to track this and I'll be excited to get use on it this is actually a product that I got at a garage sale it was brand new unopened it had gone out in FabFit fun boxes and I believe I obtained one from someone who got it in their box and sold it at their garage sale for like a dollar and um, I was super excited about that. I'm also going to be trying to finish up my Becca Afterglow palette. I want to finish up this entire palette. I've had this palette for a couple years now and it does have a good amount of wear on it. I have two nice pans in the highlighters and I'm getting quite low in that blush. You can see it's pretty low down in there in the pan. So I am confident that I will be able to use up this entire palette in 2022. This is kind of like my big sexy project pan <laughs> that I'll be focusing on. So I wanna use up the two highlights, definitely. The two blushes I think I can definitely use up. Um, and then this one in the middle is probably gonna be the most difficult. I'll try and use that for eyeshadow or um, as like a bronzy type of high, like maybe bronzer topper. But yeah, I think it'll be really fun to track this face palette for the whole year and see what kind of progress I'm able to make on it and hopefully use it up. I think that'll be very, very satisfying. So excited to bring this one in. I've kind of been unofficially panning it for two years now where I've just kind of really been focusing on those highlight shades. So yeah, I think that this one should be a really fun one to track and I do, I love this palette. I got it in a lucky bag from Beautylish years ago and I've just loved it. It's been a go-to travel companion for me. It comes with me everywhere I go when I travel. It's just like a great grab and go face palette, love it. All right, so I've been working on my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. This is the shade Dim Light and this one is definitely off for me. The shade is just a little too pinky, too rosy. It adds quite a lot of color to my cheeks, so it looks a little strange, but I really want to focus on trying to get use on this and finding a way that it works for me. I think I will be maybe using this as like a bronzer, to, to blend out my bronzer, or maybe like to go over my blush as like just like a sheen on my cheeks. So I'm really going to work on using this in a few different ways and see what works best for me. But I'm so happy I brought Diffused Light into my project this year and I've really fallen in love with it. So my hope is that I'll fall in love with this product as well. This is the only Hourglass product I own that I haven't really figured out how to use it best. So I really want to force myself to use this this year and at least hit pan on it. That's going to be my goal for this one. Okay, and we're really dreaming big here. I have two of these liquid products from Temp2. I got these both in BoxyCharms. This one's a liquid glow, it's like a liquid highlighter, and then this one's like a liquid glow bronzer. So I guess the idea is supposed to add like, you know, a shimmer bronzy look to your skin. And I'm thinking that this one could be useful in the warmer months all over the body, just adding like a bronzy glow to certain parts of the body. And then this one, I could always mix in with, I could mix in with lotions and, you know, foundations to add a glow to it or just tap in targeted areas to create a highlight on the face so these ones are both pretty full they're both maybe around like that mark they've gotten a lot a little bit of use on them over the years but I think that you know these are gonna be challenging I've been working on that other liquid highlighter almost the whole year but I really just want to get liquid highlighters out of my collection so I thought might as well, after I finished that one, bring this one in and try and get use on this one as well. So yeah, both of those are gonna, I'm hoping to bring into my project in 2022 and see what kind of progress I can make on them. You may think I'm crazy, but wish me luck. Another lofty aspiration is to pan an eyeliner pencil. So this is a black twist up eyeliner from Hikari. That's what it looks like today. And this one, I just don't use a lot of li of liners. I don't use a lot of liner, period. I use liquid liner almost every day, but I'm, I have a bunch of these in my collection and I'm really trying to get myself to use them because they're just sitting in my drawers. So I've been really trying to line like under my um, lash line, like in the inner part on the upper lash, not on the lower lash. I don't like how that looks, but I do like it on the upper lash to kind of make your lashes look a little bit fuller and thicker. So this one from Picari, I'm hoping to use up this year. I'm, it's going to be interesting to track it. Definitely going to bring this into my collection, into my project in the um, next update in 2022. Um, I have never tracked one of these before, so it should be interesting to see. We're going to wrap it up with some lip products. I have so many lip products in my collection and I was really good this year. I did not bring in a single new lip product 
in 2021, which I think is amazing. I think maybe someone may have gifted one or two to me, but other than that, like I was very good. I did not, oh, I did buy one. I bought one lip gloss, but okay. Anyway, I was good. I swear lip products are like my Achilles heel. They are my kryptonite. So I'm proud of myself. Uh, so anyways, I do want to use up more lip products in 2022 and just thin down my inventory even more. I was able to use up a lip liner in 2021, and I'd like to do that again in 2022. This is the NYX lip liner, and this is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral, and it's a great everyday shade for me. I like lip crayons or, and lip liners as an option, especially during these mask times. It's a good thing to put underneath your mask. It doesn't slip everywhere, make a big mess, and then it'll last even when you take it off. You'll still have a little bit of lip product remaining, so it looks like you're wearing, it looks like you're a little more put together. So yeah, this one, let me swatch it for you. There she is. So yeah, that is a very me color. I'll be able to wear that almost every day and hopefully get through this in just a couple months. I'm also going to bring in a very old lipstick. This is from Wet n Wild and it's in the flesh. And I've almost gotten rid of this so many times, but I just love this shade. It's like the perfect me shade. Oh, and how perfect does it go with that liner? And I just can't get myself to get rid of it because it just works on me so well. And it still smells great. The formula still feels good. So I thought I might as well try and get use on this perfect shade for me. That's how much product is in there. Not a ton. I think I can get through this in a couple months, maybe like four or five months. I'm pretty good with lip products. And this is such a great everyday shade that I should be able to use that one up as well pretty easily. I also would like to pan this lip gloss. This is from Grande Lips. This is their hydrating lip plumper. And it's just a very neutral toned lip gloss. So I'm hoping I can bring this in after I finally finish the Laura Mercier lip glass day, which who knows when that will be. But as soon as I finish that one, I'm gonna bring this one into my panning project and it'll go well over any lipstick. I'm hoping that because it gets pumped out, it'll go a little bit more quickly than the one that with the doe foot. Who knows? I don't know, but I just need to get through some lip glosses because they're just sitting in my drawer and I need to get them used and out. Okay, and my last two items I'm hoping to pan this year are both like lip care products. These are also just like getting old. I always forget to use them, so I wanna bring them in to force myself to get regular use on them before they go bad so this is from mary Kay. this is their satin lips and this is really good for exfoliating the lips so i really want to make a better practice of doing that for myself at least a couple times a week i mean i've used a good amount of it but there's still a lot of product left in there and then i'd like to use up this lip nourisher this is from pure lease and i love how this feels on the lips it has mango and shea butter it just feels really hydrating and nourishing and it really works to heal and soften the lips. So I really wanna get better use of this, get that used up in this new year because it's just been sitting around for too long. That's all I have for you. That is 14 items I pulled out of my collection that I'm hoping to use up in the new year. I feel like I could have selected more. However, I think the items that I did choose are gonna be a challenge for me. Items that are larger, that have more product than some of the others. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to challenge myself and just force myself to use things that keep getting forgotten about in my drawer and things that I don't want to go back. So yes, if you're interested in watching my panning journey, please subscribe to my channel. I will link all of my panning playlists below. Leave a comment if you'd like to see other things for me to pan or if you've panned any of the these items before or what you think about my choices. It's really, really fun growing this community. So please come and be a part of it. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and have a great new year. Bye.